So this right here is gonna be a bit of a doozy as you know many men they don't like Call of Duty though yay but however I want to actually talk about this and I want to show you guys what's going on right because a lot of you would agree that there are four universal sounds that men generally love and I don't disagree but I re respectfully disagree though because I do believe there's also a fifth sound and the fifth sound is the really <laughs> That is the fifth sound that the Call of Duty players love. Like the video if you actually agree. But today, we have the homie Prime Pete, and he's not happy though. Oh. Yeah! And we're gonna listen to why he's not happy. The homie Blame Truth, he likes the fact that he's not happy because the homie Blame Truth is also not happy with Call of Duty. Roll it. Let's you guys see. ever seen this meme? I feel like I'm living through this right now. Why okay. are you booing me? I'm right. I got a lot of comments in the last video detailing that, no, Pete, you don't have the right to tell me what to do with my money. Well, I don't. You're absolutely right. That's true. But did I ever say that I wanted control over your wallet? No. I only gave my reasoning as to why pre-ordering Black Ops 6, which is essentially giving Activision your $70 before the yeah, game even facts, comes out, facts. is a really bad idea. Who would have thunk it? As far as- I, I, I mean, these are facts though. Of course, gamers generally across the board are waking up and general advices that do not pre-order the games. But see, gamers always say don't pre-order, but gamers are the first one in line to pre-order the game. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the second- the second they- they- they-, they, they they see the gameplay trailer and it looks good they start to fire dopamine and i'm telling you man do firing dopamine that's the biggest biggest kryptonite to gamers out there the second they fire dopamine they start pre-ordering the games man as i'm concerned pre-orders are a borderline scam anyways especially considering that you're paying full price for a product that you've never used it's yeah, like the yeah. ultimate fomo trap it doesn't even really exist because you can just buy the game on day one no matter how early you pre-order the game still comes out on that day and additionally Additionally, when it's a game that comes out on Game Pass, you could just get a free trial for Game Pass to try out the game before you drop $70 on it. Especially yeah, when yeah, that game yeah. is Call of Duty, the ultimate money grab. But you see, gaming for everyone, man, Phil Spencer. Let me see if I have that homeboy right now. I know this is a friendly UAV online, but guys, yeah, here we go, man. This is the gaming. <laughs> Gaming for everyone, man. Gaming for everyone, man, has raised the prices for Game Pass, so it's not gonna be that easy to access Call of Duty anymore, man. It's <laughs> it's gonna be like what twenty dollars uh, per month. I mean, listen though, if you're like still, if you're on the sidelines, right? Like if you do not know, if you're unsure about this year's Call of Duty, right? Then of course, of course, of course, absolutely, right? Like for twenty dollars, I guess you can try out the game for a month. Right, right. Now, here's the thing, though. The homie Blame Truth would absolutely disagree. But, however, the homie Aethots would agree, though. Right now, like, Aethots, Captain Canada, Justin Trudeau uh, is, like, fighting uh, against uh, the, the homie Blame Truth, Joe Biden, right? So, Justin Trudeau versus Joe Biden is currently happening in the community where Ghost of Eight loving Call of Duty, okay? He's loving Call of Duty. And J Joe Biden, as always, he has been hating Call of Duty, man. Like, so we have that, like, beef happening. Everybody's beefing right now, man. And the homie Prime Pete, I guess, uh, uh, he's making, uh, 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 what's that sucker's name? I forgot. I, I said it. Blame Truth. Yeah, Blame Truth. Uh, he's making Blame Truth uh, proud right now. Bruh. Grab that promises one experience, but always gives another. It seems the people who comment these things don't really acknowledge the validity of my arguments or actually listen to them at all. It's actually hilarious that even though I will talk about EOMM, how atrociously they handled their matchmaking talks, the game experience, I go over all the patents, and not only that, but how they line up with Activision-issued statements and provide overwhelming evidence the game is rigged, in spite of any decent mechanics, the people will comment, still buying it, huh, don't care, still buying it, like, I get it. Some people just want to turn their brains off and shoot people after a long day for 30 minutes. That's completely acceptable. Unfortunately, COD is designed for that demographic, but for people yeah. who actually feel strongly about the franchise- In, in, in other words, he's trying to say like sick as that play are stupid that that's what he's trying to say i mean damn homie why are you saying that bro like like damn man like why are you saying that bro like come on man like you don't be come on man like people love it people love it okay simple enjoy as that, getting bro. better and i've loved the game for a long while and still wanting to get the game because of the hype surrounding it all i'm saying is do you really think that this game is going to be any less of a headache than modern warfare 3 i feel like only a few of us content creators are actually calling for us to be against the hype and against the clear nostalgia bait they're trying to pull every year we seem to forget about eom 
MMM. Every year, we give COD a free pass because of some cool new mechanics or content that baits us into purchasing the game. When are we going to figure out that EOMM is going to be in BO6 and probably more dialed in than it's ever been because of the skill ceiling that the game is going to have? That's what I've been saying. I don't want to be the pioneer behind the greatest movement in gaming and control what everyone is spending. Well, it would be great to- I, I think that day will never come because these are our gamers right now. <laughs> Yeah. Gamers are waking up, absolutely, but as soon as they see a game that is looking good, gamers forget about everything, bro. Gamers are like, I'ma pre-order this first thing in the morning, okay? I don't care whether there's skill-based factory, I don't care if, there, if there's EUMM, I don't care if there are hackers. We're seeing that happen, right? Like, yeah, I'm not even talking about gaming for everyone. We're seeing the homie Atots uh, on his love uh, for Call of Duty. Like, he's uh, very, very passionate right now. He's sharing love for Call of Duty. And I mean, listen, man, rightfully so, right? Like, listen, that's his opinion, that's his opinion, man. Like, sick is gonna be sick. Okay, that's uh, rule number one. Rule number two, I, I mean, like, damn, homie, like, we're talking video games here, so if somebody's liking the game, uh, fair. I mean, listen, uh, I'd rather see people being excited for a game than not be excited. You feel what I'm saying? So if he's loving it, he's loving it. Because uh, also, like, the homie, it, it talks, has been attacking the homie, Blame Truth, right? Blame Truth's uh, simultaneously attacking the homie, Ghost of Aid. He's, like, indirectly, uh, like, gaslighting the homie, right? Technically, I'm also kind of gaslighting, but I, I love both of these guys. I love both of these fellas. I got no beef with them. It, it's all love, man. So uh, we're, we're talking video games at the end of the day. It's just banter, right? Like, it talks makes jokes on me it talks makes jokes on blame truth blame truth indirectly like make jokes everybody's like joking around at the end of the day so it don't really matter we're talking video games right but but here's the thing though like i was really really shocked to actually hear blame truth uh, america's number one most toxic gamer ever it was my first ever time hearing him say that he finally found a game that he loves <laughs> and guess what the game he liked it was x defined so, of course, the Ghost of Aid don't like that game. <laughs> he don't like that game, right? So, uh, Blame Truth's glazing for X Defiant. Aid Thoughts glazing for Call of Duty. Prime Pete making the homie Blame Truth proud right now. It's like, bro, what are we doing right now, man? What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Force Activision's hand and get some change in the game experience. My goal is mostly to make people aware that modern games, led mainly by Call of Duty, are just rigged. They're not real. They're dopamine outlets that can be manipulated and tailored to breed a cycle of addiction. You're not playing the game. The game is playing you. Black Ops 6, according to some Treyarch devs, is undoubtedly their finest work. But the game mm. doesn't have have EOMM yet, and when it happens, uh -oh. which it will, it'll tank how uh -oh. the game feels. You could have 10 out of 10 multiplayer gameplay, but as soon as you start putting into practice some mechanics and practices that make your experience disingenuous, it's over for your game, at least to anybody that is willing to wake up. It's been said that it's easier to fool somebody than convince them that they've been fooled. People still don't believe they're getting played by the game. They believe that they're the ones behind the wheel influencing everything. Gunfights definitely aren't rigged, matches aren't definitely tailored to fit specific requirements requirements, and there definitely isn't enough evidence in Activision's official matchmaking talks that is a clear indicator that something unfair is going on. I've yeah, provided yeah. so much information, and some people who watch my material couldn't even be bothered with entertaining the idea that something else is happening. Uh, well, uh, g these are the gamers. Well... <laughs> No, I mean, listen, gamers are not blind. Gamers know everything about it. It just happens to be, like, whenever somebody enjoy a game and then you, like, cr talk crap about it, then, of course, gamers are gonna act, like, completely blind, right? They're gonna be blinded by it, right? They're gonna start defending, e -e -e -e, you know what I'm saying? E -e 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 -e. You're just toxic and all that, right? Yeah, that happens uh, everywhere. It's like, yeah, whatever, right? Gamers are not like blind gamers are not sleeping gamers are fully aware. It just happens to be that They, they got hit in the g-spot simple as that Happening and that is just a skill issue. Give me a break I have more than enough information to back all of what I'm saying up now While I do definitely appreciate any and all positive comments either letting me know They experience something like what I'm describing or reinforcing my videos main idea and adding more to the story There seems to be an incredible lack of action on our part here All I was saying about black ops 6 is that the game might actually be really great on paper And it looks really promising and in the studio it looks great too But as soon as it hits our consoles and PCs on day one 
one, the matchmaking is going to ruin the experience. Mark my words. <laughs> or better yet, they'll make the matchmaking really loose for the beta to make everyone talk about it and then change it at the last second before the game releases. I feel like Doc- yeah, if, the, if the homie- Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Doctor who? Yo, he said doctor. He said doctor. He said doctor. He said doctor. Doctor Prime Pete. No, no, I mean doctor what? Doctor who? Uh, now listen, okay. I was gonna say this that if the homie Ape Tots is watching this video, I, I need your input on this one immediately, brother. I need your input on this one immediately, bruh. But doctor who? Okay, I'm intrigued right now, bruh. Like I, I'm invested in this one to make everyone talk about it and then change it at the last second before the game releases. I feel like Doctor Strange in Infinity War. There's a million possibilities and only one out of them is good. And that is them talking about changing the matchmaking and keeping their promises. Until then, I'm not pre-ordering. I don't care how promising the game looks. And it looks like the most promising game in the last six years. Don't care. So back to why are you booing me? I'm right. People are just coming at me when all I'm saying, which you know is true, is that Black Ops 6, which is the best looking card in a while is going to suffer the same problems as uh, honestly like the game i've seen the trailer and i'm all yeah we've all seen the trailer i mean duh uh we've all seen the trailer we've seen the gameplay uh, to me like i said it before and i'll say it again it does look pretty good but not impressive though it's not impressive but it does look good i feel like that we're in such a we're in that timeline whatever they do it's not necessarily going to be that impressive I guess multitude of things because the franchise is like super old, right? So it's like the same thing over and over and over. Uh, and we're also getting old. Yeah, we're getting older. And it's also the franchise fatigue we have. I, I, I can talk on my behalf, of course. I have uh, my first Call of Duty ever was Black Ops 1. So I have been playing Call of Duty ever since Black Ops 1. I purchased all the Call of Duty games ever since Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty. Bought that. Bought all the Call of Duty games after that. Bought all the previous Call of Duty games that came before Black Ops 1. The only Call of Duty game that I did not buy and I broke the streak was with uh, Modern Warfare 2023. That was the only game that I did not buy. That was the first Call of Duty game that I did not buy. I was saying that, bro, I'm gonna wait till like January of this year, right? Now we're in July. <laughs> now we're in July. So I was like, well, I'm gonna wait till like January if I have the incentive, if I feel like that, you know, I'm hitting the G-spot, then I'm gonna go ahead and buy it, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. Wasn't hitting the G-spot, wa wasn't firing dopamine. I did not fire a single ounce of dopamine in my system, right? Like dopamine was not flowing, therefore I did not buy. Simple as that. This time, however, it's looking good. We're talking Treyarch on top, and Treyarch is considered to be like the best. The only two games that weren't as good uh, as their uh, previous work were Black Ops Cold War and Black Ops 4. But still, those games are better than like all the infinity tard recent garbage right that they have produced uh, i i know i'm sorry i know some of you will disagree and, and that's perfectly fine i mean listen like if you like infinity ward games there's probably a reason and yeah i mean at the end of the day we're talking video games so if you like their games over uh if you prefer their games over trail games Hey, you do you, boo-boo. Uh, but for me, Treyarch is uh, by far the, the, the supreme in terms of a uh, Call of Duty developer. So I'm actually, yeah, like, I, I hope this time it's better uh, and it's a good game because uh, we have been hearing that they have been spending, by the time, at least, uh, when by the time this game comes out, it's going to be four years in development. So this game better give me a BJ when it comes out, okay? This game better be good. Yeah. This game better be good, bro. This game better be good when it comes out. So for years, they have been glazing, they have been hyping us all up, they have been trying to like butter or toast uh, without asking for our permission, right? So this game better hit, better it, it better hit. Black Ops 4 and, and uh, especially Black Ops Cold War on the other hand, that was a, a, a Sledgehammer Games project, right? We were in a Roni situation as well. They dropped that game a year early. Uh, Treyarch took over Sledgehammer My Balls project, right? So of course the game came out underbaked, undercooked, right? Because they had to pick up the scraps from uh, Sledgehammer My Balls, so they kind of like shies the bed. So yeah, right? But this time there is no excuse, bruh. Four years by the time it comes out, this game better be good, man. It better give me a BJ, bruh.
predecessors unless Activision explicitly talks about matchmaking changes. And until then, it's smart to avoid the pre-order because you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. So if you want to drop $70 for a game that yet again fooled you with the Black Ops aesthetic that got changed from Gulf War originally to Black Ops 6 to fool us that promises new mechanics and nostalgic elements like classic prestige, but will nonetheless have matchmaking that is just as terrible and it's not even released yet. Be my guest. Yeah. Earlier $70. And now, and now this is a very interesting point because yeah, I said it again. Prestige mode coming back, W, I wanted that, right? But see, like they're using that as a marketing pl ploy. Is that how you say? They're using that as a marketing point, right? To hype us all up with it. And they're like, hey, look at us guys. We got, we got Prestige coming back, man, Prestige coming back. It's good. It's good that it's coming back, not denying it. But see, like we're talking about the same old crap that we had for years, for a decade plus though. They removed it. They fixed, uh, they fixed things that were not broke. They also tried fixing the minimap which was never broke to begin with so like they they fixed something that was not broke and remove it from the game only to bring it back and just uh, start hyping us all up with those features right i want to see more maps i want to see new maps i want to see more maps like nuketown when i say more maps maps like nuketown i'm not saying like nuketown clones as in like the same same map but i want to see new maps similar to nuketown what i mean by this is that i want them to create new maps that are also as small as nuketown and as chaotic as nuketown so we can go ahead and create new memories now i absolutely want them to remaster nuketown because nuketown is like black ops black ops is nuketown just like how prestige was call of duty call of duty was prestige right they're bringing it back yeah w but i want them to also create new maps that are also fun and good because uh for me at least i, I i'm not sure how where you guys are at but for me at least like it, it's been a minute since i had I, I had i have seen a map that is equally fun nostalgic and also equally as legendary as something like uh uh, let's just say summit from black ops one right firing range right we had the studio map that they remaster over firing range right like black ops 3 yeah see, see what right. i'm saying right same maps are coming over and over jungle nuketown right dome in modern warfare 3 right so yeah i definitely want to see like them uh, them create new maps as well that are equally equally fun and equally good and uh, i want them to create new memories too not just like recycle the same thing over and over and over and especially this time they're taking four years to make it so this game better be good absolutely but pre-ordering the game that's like come on man like that's not the way unless you want the collector's edition now i get it though you want to like try out the beta but the beta is going to be free you don't have to pre-order but if you want to try out the beta before anyone else then i guess you got to pre-order and if you're a content creator you're making videos I understand right but here's the thing though like this is something that uh, I believe came out first when Black Ops 4 came out uh, if you pre-order and you because these creep these uh, like little twigs out there at Activision these seconds what they do is that they're very clever with it right what these seconds do is that they make sure they give you like a pre-order bonus and you're like how nice of them right like wow like they're being nice they're trying to give us reward for pre-ordering pre-ordering the game the only reason they give you the pre-order rewards is because the second you pre-order the game and the second you download those pre-order bonus and as soon as you download, you cannot refund. Oh, shit. Oh, At least on the PlayStation. It's gonna be very hard. 99.99% of the uh, the times, as soon as you download a pre-order bonus and you use it in a game, it's over. It is over. It's done. It's over. It is over. So, uh, like, for example, right? Frank Woods skin. If you, you pre-order the game, you download Frank Woods and you start using that the Frank Woods in, in Warzone, in other Call of Duty game. That's it you have given them your money and now it's there you can never get that money back even if you want to get a refund unless the game is like really like cyberpunk like how cyberpunk was at launch all the way back when it first came on not talking about right now you feel what i'm saying like that that's where we at so these suckers are real crazy with it they're clever with it they're clever as hell with it so if you're very unsure if you're like on the sidelines you're like skizzle like a, i'm scratching my head man i'm also scratching my balls while watching this video i do not know what's going on yeah fellas <laughs> don't pre-order the game don't pre-order the game uh, wait till the the the, the beta is uh, fully uh, uh free for you to try it out
hours at Activision before you can even test out the game. But we know this game is going to suffer from the same old problems, the same old greed. Sorry for calling it out and bursting your bubble, but the COD cycle is delusional, and we know this. Players are so willing to ignore the glaring problems with the game just because they want to try out the newest installment. If you didn't enjoy Modern Warfare 3, there is no way you're going to enjoy Black Ops no, 6. No, man, if like, I don't want, no, no, see, like, see, it... <laughs> That's the thing though, I feel like that there's also some truth behind this, it is that people have been complaining about Call of Duty for a very long time, myself included. Some complaints were justified, some complaints were not. Let's be fair, let's be real. But here's the thing though, right now I feel like that we're at a point where we have seen so much negativity in gaming, and gamers are not to blame, okay? I'm gonna be the first one this time to say gamers... G gamers are not not to be undertaker gamers are not to be blamed this time okay the reason i'm saying this is because like game devs game publishers have been dicking us down left and right and gamers are fed up with it they want at least one game to enjoy it gets tiring hating on a game and i guess that's what's going on with the homie it it thoughts as well right and uh, uh I, I blame truth i mean he's loving <laughs> x defined but at least for the homie ghost of aid uh, the homie eight thoughts he's on his love train for call of duty and i guess the reason is simple right he's getting older not no disrespect though i'm also getting older we're all getting older right he's getting older and i guess he has complained about call of duty so much that he's like bruh like i cannot do the same thing over and over i i feel him though i i feel him on this one and generally speaking i i feel like that a lot of people really want black ops 6 to be good generally speaking right but if you didn't enjoy Modern Warfare 3, you're not going to like Black Ops 6. That's a little wild to say. I, I mean, I, I guess he's talking from experience because we have been burnt many times, so I understand where he's coming from as well. I, I hope it turns out good, but guys, check out this video on the screen because recently we got a brand new update on Dr. Disrespect as well. Some new stuff came out. Check it out. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.